Hey guys, today we're taking a look at React, which is a really cool library uh, from, uh, it's basically a collaboration between the JavaScript developers at Instagram and the JavaScript developers at Facebook. Uh, we are going to jump right in with something called components, which is really at the core of what React does. Uh, so here on the page, uh, I've got uh, the React library 0.8.0 coming in from the Facebook CDN. I've also got this JSX transformer. Uh, JSX is JavaScript XML notation, and this transformer allows us to write our JavaScript in that JSX format, and then it goes ahead and processes that into JavaScript for us. So here on the page, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to drop in a div called content. That's going to be my target for my uh, application. And then uh, one thing we need to do right here in the script tag, I'm going to say type equals text slash JSX. And then our very first uh, uh, line here, this is important, needs to be there. It's forward slash triple asterisk uh, at JSX react dot dom. And then we close that off. So without that, uh, it doesn't know where, where our code is or something like that. It's needed for the transformation. Uh, so let's create our first component slash application uh, so far. App equals react dot Sorry, that should be a capital R. React.create class. And that's going to take an object, and inside that object, we're going to have a render method. And then from there, we can just return our HTML. So uh, now this is important. We could do one line of HTML here. This is the app. And, uh, and that's going to work just fine, I think. Uh, but uh, what we want to do is wrap it in parentheses. What that allows us to do is drop this in and kind of lay it out nice and clean with some uh, you know white space and line breaks and things of that nature. Boy, I can't type here. Uh, so we can lay it out like that. Now, when we want to render that component on the page, uh, we simply call react.render component. So react.render component. We tell it the component we want to uh, render, and in our case, that's going to be app. So it's just like a tag there, and then we tell it where we want it to render that. So document .get element by id content, which is that div we created in the very beginning. Let's load this up. So here's our first component slash application. Uh, not super impressive, but hey, it did what it needs to do. So now we're going to build this out a little more. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to make this a list of people. So I'm going to call this the person app first. And so now it's the person app. Here's the person app. Let's just reload that. OK, so that's working. This is the person app. And what we want to do is uh, so let's create a thing for, for a person. Uh, so we're going to have a list of people here. So let's say uh, we're going to render person. This is going to be our, our new component here. Uh, so let's do a first equals Bruce and last equals Wayne. And we'll do one more there. And we'll say, oops, that should be first. And this one will be Peter Parker. Okay, so now we need to create our person component. So same pattern that we used before, our person equals react dot create class. Here's our object. Here's our render method. And then in here we need to return uh, the person object. So return, sorry, return in our parentheses. We're going to close this in a div. And then here what we're going to do is, so, uh, so let's say we're going to throw this into, uh, let's use something else. Let's use a h2. And then we'll close that. And now we can tap into the properties. So each of these attributes is technically a property in React. And we can just interpolate that with curly brackets. So let's do this dot props. That's how we tap into it. Let's do last. And then we'll do comma this dot props dot first. So now we've created this person component. We've nested it inside of this person app component. And then down here, we don't have to change anything. We've still got a person app, so let's reload this. And now we've got the person components on the page. So Wayne comma Bruce, Parker comma Peter. You know, this is starting to get a little cooler, right? Uh, okay, so let's take this a little bit further. Let's uh, 
So let's not have these in the uh, right there hard coded. So let's let's get this out of here and uh, make our own. So var data equals and this will be our array of people. Uh, <clears throat> so here's our first one. First is going to be Bruce, and uh, last is going to be Wayne. And then we'll do one for Peter Parker. So Parker. Peter. Okay. So let's do. So now we're going to make one called. Let's call it person list. And that's going to have an attribute. We'll call it data. And let's close this off. What do we want to do here? So this is going to be this.prop. So we're going to make it uh, a property of the person app. So this.props. Uh, Oops. Dot data. And then we're going to make sure in our person app, now we're going to have an attribute called data. We're going to inject our data uh, variable. So we've got this data going into the person app as a property called data. And then the person list can tap into, uh, well, the person list has an attribute called data as well. And that's getting its property from the person app. So now we just need to create the uh, person list. And you know what? This is going to be like that. Okay. So uh, now we need to create our person list. So person list equals, and again, the exact same syntax, react, uh, create class. There's our object and our render method. Okay. So now <clears throat> what we need to do is we need to map each of those things to a person object so that our person list becomes a list of person components. Uh, so what we're going to do is say var people equals this dot props dot data and we're going to map that function and we'll call it each thing a person and then we're going to return uh, our person object so person and that's going to have the first equals and the last equals and here we are going to say uh, person so person dot uh, first <coughs> and person dot last and then we can just return oops return uh, let's see so div to wrap it in and then here we just say people okay let's try that out that's a lot of code to write without trying it out and it works so uh, and just to show you, if we want to add one more up here, uh, running out of superheroes, Clark Kent, load that up. Now we got Clark Kent. So now uh, this is starting to come together quite a bit. And I'm going to cut it off here uh, and just, you know, let you kind of sit with this. And I'm going to come back and show you how we can do some more dynamic things. Uh, but fundamentally, you know, we just created this person app and we gave it some data. You know, we... Uh, and that ends up returning this person list, which takes that data. Then the person list uh, renders that out into person tags. And then we've got our person tag here. So we've got all these nested components going on here and uh, it's starting to work really well. So that is a look at the basics of components in React. Uh, we're definitely gonna uh, revisit this application uh, in, a, in another video very shortly. Uh, but there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.